Okay, so I've got three or four more products that are new or restocked on the website, and I just wanted to take a quick look at them so people can see them. Uh, this is the Camerodactyl Rex. It's got a Mamiya press mount here. Uh, it also comes in a Polaroid 600 SE mount. Um, it'll take a Mamiya press lens, like so. Boom, and it takes a bunch of finders. I have this uh, Connie Omega Rapid Finder, but there are some great uh, Mamiya Press finders available, and I print custom finders. Boo, boo, boo. Uh, I like this finder because it has different flip-up frame lines and some parallax adjustment, but there's uh, a million finders you can get for it. Um, on the back, it's meant to fit a Lomograph lock back, which takes Instax wide film. Uh, this is a great product by Lomography. It allows you to mount Instax wide film on a 4x5 camera, um, but it is offset and pushed back from the normal film plane. Um, Lomography gives you uh, this shim, it comes with the Lomograph lock back, that pushes your film plane back to where the film plane is inside of this back. And it also masks out the 4x5 frame into just the frame where um, Instax film has a picture. Um, so I guess the first product that I made is this guy. It's the uh, integrated focusing screen and shim for the Loma Graph Lock back. And it's a 4x5 uh, Graph Lock mount on this side and an Instax wide sized focusing screen on this side. Um, it also has these through holes uh, here and here. I don't know if I can see it, yep. Um, and those are for uh, elastic bands if you have a camera that is not a graph lock style but just takes uh, a graph lock flange 4x5 uh, film holders. So these could be bungeed on to something without the sliding locks of a graph lock back. Um, this guy, I'm not selling at Camerodactyl. It's only available at brooklynfilmcamera.com. Um, check those guys out, they're great. Okay, so the Rex has a similar back, um, which has a six by nine focusing screen as opposed to a six by 10 of the Instax, which is a little bit bigger. Um, but this back actually has a two by three graph lock back so you can take off the focusing screen. So this focusing screen can come off and then you can mount a uh, RB67 back or other Graflex 2.3 style back um, right there. And this is the same uh, flange distance and offset as the Loma Graph Lock back. So then this whole back can come off of the Rex. And then the Loma Graph Lock can be put in Okay, so then the Loma Graph Lock can be installed, and the uh, centering and the depth of the Instax film in the Loma Graph Lock back matches exactly that of the roll film in the RB67 or Graph Lock 2.3 back. Uh, right now, the Rexes are available. They come with the backs, and the backs are available separately on Camerodactyl.com. Um, yeah, so check those out. Uh, one more thing that I've been meaning to release for oh, about a year now, um, is this guy is the 4x5 self-developing back. Here, let's get one that's been peeled. Sometimes I leave the paper on to protect the product before it ships. Anyway, um, this is a 4x5 uh, film holder or paper holder for uh, large format cameras. Um, it was designed to be used with paper, either Harman Direct Positive or um, any of the direct positive reversal processes or even paper negatives that um, you can check out some Ethan and Joe video. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, so it has the same flange as a 4x5 film holder, mounts to your camera in the same way. Again, like the Lomograph lock back, the um, film holder is much deeper than a standard 4x5 film holder, and so it comes with a similar shim. Uh, this is the version with the paper. This is after the paper has been peeled off to push your focusing screen back such that the focusing screen is in the same film plane as uh, the inside of this holder. Um, the inside of the holder has a frame um, and some embedded magnets in the back. So you can put in your piece of 4x5 paper, uh, drop the frame over it, and then these magnets will... Oops. 
drop on the thing. And then these magnets will self-align to uh, the embedded magnets on the other side. Tough to do it with one hand, hopefully you can see. Okay, and then um, when you put these dark slides in, it's useful to flex them a little bit forward and they go right in like that. Um, what makes this different from a normal 4x5 film holder is that it has a light baffle right here, I think you can see, um, that allows liquid to enter the tray, um, but not light. So here are the entry ports from the light baffle. Here are the entry ports on the other side. So basically you can take a picture uh, with a piece of paper in a 4x5 camera with this product and then directly develop it by uh, pouring chemistry in here. Um, okay, that's the updates on the products on the website. I hope you go check them out. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. I love you. Goodbye. Hey, what's up? It's me, Chad. I'm here for another camera review. Awesome! Boop, boop, boop. Hello, Grandma! I got a new camera! Whoa!